it has become a tradition that when we have a guest in Alberta for our Toastmasters district, we found a moment in the events to know more about them. This time we had a very, very advanced, not only leader, but Toastmaster, DTM Kelly Nielsen. She is Region 4 advisor. Kelly, welcome to Alberta. I know everybody has said it already, uh -huh. but I wanted to ask you, what was your goal coming to District 42? Really the goal is to come in and make sure the leaders know what they're doing and make sure the leaders feel supported in their role. There's so many things that we need to learn and know, and it's hard to remember everything when you go through training. So I get to come in and motivate and just remind, hey, you learned that in your training, make sure you're using that now. Yeah. Or even support them if they need a little support. It was perfect because now we have here in Red Deer, uh, area directors, district um, of the officers, mm -hmm. and you in a very important meeting of, for the weekend. How we loved you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> how, we, how we loved you. Have you expressed uh, to you um, the welcome that Toastmasters does to every member? Now with you being the officer, have we showed you that? Oh yes, everyone's been great. They've given me hugs, like they knew me for years, and they made sure I'm okay. And a lot of people are asking great questions, which I love because that means our leaders care about our members and they just want to do well. Most definitely felt a lot of love when I came here. Thank you. Yesterday we were honored to have you for the chartering of a new bilingual, Spanish bilingual club. And when we were listening to you, you said there are 14 advisors yes. like you. Mm -hmm. How big is your region? How geographically, how big is the region you advise to? Okay. We start in the United States, and if you look at Iowa and Nebraska in that Midwest, and then we go up to Minnesota, we have Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota, and then we come up through Canada. Lots of land, but a lot of great people. How many members in Toastmasters clubs in that region? I did a quick, quick number when you asked me that question, and I would say around 25,000 of us. Wow. Ah, fabulous. So, when you came here, you wanted to know how we are doing, if mm -hmm. we need you, but what I saw in your profile, in your website, is that your main subject is gaining members and retaining members in our clubs. How is that? Really the lifeline for us, for our clubs, for us to keep growing is members. Right. We need to keep our members here and show them how the program is working for them. But we also need to bring new members in and we do that because we get to gain more skills. We're mentoring them, we're guiding them along so they can be them, their better self as well. So it's just everything all together. But yes, and when I come to visits, we talk a lot about building new clubs, getting members. What are the members getting out of their experience here in this great program that we have? I, I just realized that I'm talking about Toastmasters and we think everybody who's listening to us knows about Toastmasters. I, I just realized that. What would you like to tell any audience we're gonna have? What is Toastmasters and why becoming a member of a club is such an important decision? Yes, I'd love to talk about Toastmasters. Toastmasters is a place where we get to come in and develop leadership skills. All of us are leaders. We have a leader inside of us, and now we have this safe place where we get to work on those skills, listening, giving constructive feedback, leading teams, where we get to have a team around us supporting us, where we make some mistakes, but we learn a lot in a short time. Yeah. And then there's another side of Toastmasters, it's communication. Right. To be a good leader, you have to be able to communicate the message out. Whether it's in writing, whether it's verbal, if you cannot get the information out in a clear manner, the message is lost and you are not a leader. Public speaking, you know, Public communication, speaking, effective yes. communication. Mm -hmm. There is one sentence that I haven't found out or remembered or found where I read it, but I love it. Every speaking is public speaking. I'm talking to you, this is public speaking. It how is. public is going mm -hmm. to be? So how we communicate, you and I, 
you and I with a camera. Everybody in their work, in their family, in every environment, have to know how to communicate. Content and attitude, isn't it? Yes, yes, it all goes together. Okay, very good. So what would be one thing that, by the way, when does your, does your period end? You know, do you have one moment where you have to leave your position as, as a region advisor? Yes, so region advisors are appointed by our board of directors. We start on April 1st of the year and we go through June 30th. Okay. So June 30th would be my last day. Right. What would be that thing, one thing, that would be very proud to have done when you leave your position? The thing that would make me most proud is setting up those districts, all those members for success starting on July 1st. That transition part of it, of knowing this outgoing team really gained a lot of good skills, and then they pass that information yeah. on to the incoming. Yeah. That's when you know you have a good team. Very good, and final, final question. We are so happy, and thank you uh, for the amazing service we get every time. He's my, my um, partner in these interviews we have for the district. In your website, you have a quote that I think I, I'd love to, and I'd like to ponder about it. It says, I want to read it for all of you. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Jumping a little bit, that we are chi a child of God. Why play small if we can be the best we can be? Why and how does this quote impact you to have it in your international profile? What's amazing about that quote is it says so much. There are many of us out there who have these amazing talents, but we don't show them, we don't display them, we don't have the courage to let other people know we have these good qualities. And that's really what that quote is saying is, we're scared to show who our true self is. And here's a program, here's a place where we get to be who we really are. We get to have all the quirks that we think we have out there and no one thinks yeah. we're weird. No one thinks it's a quirk. We don't think it's wrong. Yeah. We actually support, courage, give them confidence. And that's really what it is, is building that confidence. Show who you are, be proud of yeah. what you've done. Excellent. In District 42, which is Alberta and Saskatchewan, we have 300. Those master's clubs. Yeah. Anywhere you go, you can find one. One last invitation for people to become members of a club. Come join us. We're in a safe place where you get to build all these great skills. You can't find that anywhere else.